Follow me. So if you found my channel, welcome. Remember that you are beautiful. You are amazing. And this video is a confirmation that you are on purpose and in the right place. If I talk fast, it's to bypass your mind and directly access your soul's listening. And I want you to trust in your soul and your higher self ability to understand past your mind and to remember what's needed as you need it. So grab a blanket, a cozy, healthy beverage, your journal, and set up on your meditation mat. Let's begin with a prayer. Beloved creator, may I always be protected from evils. May my ego come in service to my spirit. May I always be connected with two divine truth. May I listen with my spirit and hear with my heart, absorbing love and what is of my highest good. May I activate the miracles and blessings meant for me as I walk my golden path. In full faith, with grace and ease. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, welcome to my video on karma. Oh, karma, I could go on forever and ever and ever about it. But let's just try to keep it real, real simple. So if you've been on my channel before, you know that I've talked about the influences on this planet and how there are certain darker energies that are trying to trap souls on this planet. So how have they done that? Well, let's get right into it. All right. So what I just said, you're probably like, Jade, what do you mean? So look at it this way. We came into this planet, it was full of polarities, it was meant for us to experience ourselves, it was meant for us to explore some different ideas, it was ex meant for us to experience separation and individuality because we all are one, we all came from the light, we're all conscious, okay? So we came down here, um, but also darker energy manifest because that is even of creator, everything is of creation um, because it seeks to challenge us to make us grow. So then what started happening was you would get these starseed children or children in general, and then you would get an entity that people have now been convinced do not exist. And they might even be some that still scoff at this, but I feel like if you found my video, your starseed, your empath, you would know what I'm talking about. But there are entities on this planet and they latch on to these children because these children are like little starseed, they're little batteries and they latch on to them and they start nudging them in the wrong direction. So this soul who would not have specifically chosen these bad actions now starts acquiring this karmic debt where it has done a bad thing. So now it has to repay it and or figure out um, not to do that again. And it, if it keeps accumulating this karmic debt, now it's going to reincarnate on this planet over and over again in the same cycle. And depending on the scale of how much a soul can be affected by this negative energy, um, a lot of souls have been trapped here. So you might ask, okay, well, how, what do you mean? Like how, how does a soul get affected? Like how is there different scales? Well, sometimes people find creator, sometimes people are in religion. So you have family members who have the sight, who have the Holy Spirit in them, or have intuitive abilities, clairvoyancy, or just a really good, strong, empathic knowing of what is good and right and wrong, especially since karma has been changing about five years ago, but we're gonna get into that a bit later. But a lot more light workers have been coming down to this planet to try to help souls. So those souls might be born into families and they might start praying for these souls and that might lessen the attachment that these entities have to these souls and it might help some of the other souls that are trapped here to break their karma, okay? So I've also talked about this a little bit in another video about how we are the physical representation um, of healing our ancestor bloodlines. So what does that mean? Well, our ancestors didn't treat each other very good. I actually think that some of our collective purpose right now is actually to, um, to rectify that, to become sisters again, to become brothers again, to 
really share resources and help each other and come back to community and know that every single culture brings some beautiful benefit and gift. And when we're all combined in those benefits and gifts, we are so powerful and so strong and we are all interlocking and meant to work together this way. But again, that might be a whole other video too. But it's really exciting times, except for the fact that our past, unfortunately, needs a purging. So you can't clean what you can't see, right? So if there's all of this trauma sitting cellularly in the cells because of things that our ancestors went through, it's got to come up. We got to purge it. And that's what's happening right now. So if you are trying to manifest things and you're having like a lot of pushback or a lot of um, weird incidents going on um you're feeling you're feeling like i can't get ahead you have a lot of sorrow a lot of grief you could be you could be clearing some generational curses you could be clearing some karma that i just talked about from mistakes made in past lives so we always 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 have the choice to choose love to choose creator so in this polarity right now the common the common things that are fighting right now in this war the spiritual warfare of good and evil is fear and love and so when we choose love we're choosing creator we are now empowered doing what we're supposed to and we have the source of everything behind us now you still might have to clear some karma you still might have a bumpy road ahead but if it was easy if we if everything was easy people wouldn't do it we need the charge of the polarity the charge of the, the tensions of pulling us, you know, um, and motivating us to get out of something. Okay. Now it's become so overwhelming on this planet that some people have just given up. And I personally believe evil is running amok and there's entities just plugged into people all over the place because so many people have lost creator, but karma has changed on this planet in the last five years. So in the last five years, especially it's been changing for a while but in the last five years especially in the last 10 years especially star seeds other beings who are highly evolved have been flooding this planet and they have been coming down and helping with love with light with even anchoring that and some are just just blue collar workers just doing just doing mundane things they don't even have a language for this they don't even know they're doing it but they're anchoring the light and so much light has allowed the next set of seeds of seed souls rainbow children to come down and these souls have had very little past lives they are very pure they are very connected to creator they're coming down with full psychic clairvoyant abilities they are coming down with full um remembrance and knowledge of what creator actually is and what purity actually is and what our connection to nature and our responsibility to nature is and they are coming down and we are all a part of this little plan well this huge plan um to anchor the light and to bring back love on this planet and as more of us manifest and as more of us remember who we are remember our purpose and anchor more love and light and cleanse the violence out of within ourselves we actually start to help everyone in the web because the truth is we're all connected we live in a societal system a medical system a societal system that says we're all and an ego system that says like we're all separate and we do need to experience our human separate individuality that's also part of why we're here but everything's a fine line and we get super comfortable and we want it to be a hard line. We want it to be a hard definition and that's just not the way things work. The only thing that's constant is that everything will always change and everything continues to change. So getting back to my point, see I could talk about this forever. Um, so as this happens, karma is starting to change on the planet and it's starting to allow some of these souls to be free by say me having personal wins over the traumas and structures and locking identification patterns in my family um if i overcome those if i bring more light and love into that if i can bring more healing if i can identify a toxic familial pattern that i am now playing out that i learned from my parents and they learned from their parents and they learned from their survival tactics then i actually now help a whole bunch of people in the human web also overcome these issues 
And so we're all, all of our tiny little individual wins, they are helping the collective. But then the collective tells us we have to be celebrities and everyone has to see it and there has to be a big deal about everything. That's also our ego structure, which I do not hate our ego. Our ego is our operating system and we need it and God bless it. But our ego should be in service to our soul. Our ego should be in service to the path of love and light. Our ego should be in service to creator. And what society has done to trick you into abdicating a lot of your power is by telling you and convincing you that your ego is the is the main thing your mind your mental structures and all the things that you learn and program into that is the main thing but the mind is limited is very important it's a steering wheel we need it to uh manifest we need it to create we need it to visualize we need it to connect um it's it, the third eye when it's open that's your channel to creator that's your channel to intuition that's your channel to information that's your channel to your gifts that's your channel to helping other people but it's not the most important one and there's a whole bunch of synergies that we miss out on in the body in the energetic field in the emotional field that all need to be working together to turn on your internal navigation system and help you move through this karma now there's tools you can do there's yoga kriya yoga is great for karma releasing. So if you're finding that you're having a lot of upheaval, you're having a lot of challenge, um, I would recommend going and trying some Kriya. You make sure you have a really good teacher. Um, I teach that also. I do private sessions and, and everything with people all over the world. Um, but yoga, asana paired with the proper breath, uh, meditation in general, but any like any heartfelt prayer practice if you are in any kind of religion the love is real the love creator has for you is real creator wanting us to honor honor each other not harm each other that is all real that is the language of spirit and if you study religions like i have and you study indigenous and you study everything on this planet that anyone's ever talked about god or creator you can find the common thread and that will also help you trace your way back to creator like what is creator creator is love and that's common in everything but what happens is most people want to feel safe so they get really stuck into one trail of thought one definition one religion one belief system and they want to stay safe there and they and they we've been taught that we are really bad and we need to be locked down and controlled in order to be good but if you have creator in you you start to just have a natural inclination to integrity. You have a natural inclination to be good because we are good. We are inherently good. Look at a baby. A baby is not born um, hurting people, hurt people, hurt people, right? But some of the hurt that might be playing out in your life or the trauma loops might be from your karma. There are so many sessions that I have done. There are so many sessions that I have done with people on past life because they're having chronic emotional conditions and um, situations showing up in their life and that was from a past life it was from the trauma pieces breaking off those pieces in the timeline and leaving them back in the past and we collect them we get creator to clean them and we put them back in your field so that you can be more empowered to find your path there's also skills that you learned in other lives that are going to help you during these times and they will help you balance your karma but also, we should also say not all karma is bad. Some karma is really good too, and you can collect that from the past if you've been here. Some souls haven't been here that much, so that's okay too. But many of you have, many of you that found this video have been here for a while. And it's just a really empowering practice. And if you look at the onflex of self help, of healers, of coaches that have come out even during the last decade, my goodness, the awakening arising on this planet is just unbelievable and there is someone for you. And you need to be very self-empowered, you need to be very confident, and you really need to trust your gut. I'm not saying take all your wounds and run and put them into one healer because that can be very, very dangerous. Um, personally, I like to study a lot of different modalities and kind of take in there what I feel like I need, what really resonates with me in my heart, um, and not my ego, and you gotta learn, you gotta learn to differentiate between the two. But I take what really resonates and then I kind of let the rest be where it lies because not one path, one path could work for you, but many paths bring you a better whole picture. Because like I said, 
humans get comfortable and we want to define things in the same way. Now, another way to balance karma is that you can tithe. Um, so I knew um, I've had past life memories and experiences uh, to do with trafficking, slavery, war, um, being orphaned, uh, starvation. So if I, if those if I remember those things, which if you have sight, you might, you might be able to access your past lives, you might be able to remember them. If you don't, a big clue to those things is like, when you see an experience of those, are you hear a heartfelt story of someone who went through that? Do you freak out and cry? Do you get really upset? Do you get really emotional? Because that's also a sign that that could be in your cellular past, your family's past, or your traumas. But your, your cells are trying to, to speak to you and talk to you about that. So if it really moves your heart, chances are you've got some sort of energetic link to it. So that's also where you can start tithing. So you can find organizations, you can find real people that are on the ground, trying to help, trying to make a change, that have devoted their lives to changing these things, and you can send them money, you can send them help, you can volunteer, you can reach out in any way that you can, and you can go and this will also start to help balance your karma and your energy. So I'm gonna leave you with this today. Like I said, there could be more videos on karma. We could go on forever. There's just so much to unpack energetically, but honestly, our mind is super limited. So let's let this sink in and integrate and I'll see you in the next video. If you like this video, please subscribe. Click the link below, hit add a thumbs up.